Hey there, Keto fam. Happy Monday. <sighs> okay, so I ventured out to Walmart because since my hubby's been home, he's been eating lunch here, obviously. So he's not keto, he's not carnivore, he's not any of this stuff. So there was no milk, there were no bread, no bread or anything like that for him, no chips or anything to snack on. So I had to venture out to Walmart, <laughs> which was interesting. They had stuff, but the place was packed. So I grabbed like three of those uh, Sandy Wipes before I even touched the grocery cart. Wrapped my hands and held the, and sometimes I would just lay my arms on the cart to push it. But I kept those Sandy Wipes with me the whole time till I got in my truck. And then I took my, see me touch, I'm forever touching. That's why I have to keep my hands, like my hands are so clean, the skin is starting to get really dry. <laughs> so, um, what was I saying? Oh, when I get in my truck, I took my sani sanitizer and just, so yeah, I'm being super cautious right now. All right, while I was in there, I looked over where the chips I were, was because he wanted me to pick him up some snacks. So I had to pick him up some chips. And so while I was over there, I saw some new pork rinds. Well, pork rinds that you couldn't previously get at the grocery store. You could only get them online, at least for me anyway. And the place was packed. Let me say this. We have a, a, a confirmed case here in my, my little town here. So now I'm super on edge. But I saw a couple of bags of new pork rinds to me that I thought you could that I couldn't get here locally. I'm sure if you went to a Whole Food, you could probably get it. I can't I can't stop with my hair. Or a Trader Joe's or something like that. You could probably find them. You don't normally find these at Walmart. Uh, I found the 4505. I didn't like the chili ones and I didn't like the, I think was sea salt. The chili ones tasted like had a chemical taste to them. The only ones I liked were the jalapeno and cheddar ones, which I picked up some of those, but I've already done a taste test on those. But I also found the Crave. I picked it. They, all I had was a chili lime and I think sea salt, I think, but I wanted to try the chili lime ones. Here's the breakdown for these. Come on and focus. Get off my face. Uh, zero. Uh, 70 calories. There's five servings in this bag. Um, says serving size a half an ounce. Would you be surprised how many pork rinds a half an ounce is? Um, 4.5 grams of fat zero carbohydrates and eight grams of protein now i want to try these because i've heard a lot of people and i think crave makes like meat sticks and things like that too so let's go ahead and give these a shot oh. okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. let's see i hope i like them you guys oh again with the dog you can see the seasoning on it. Let me see if I can get that to focus. There we go. Chili lime seasoning. What? That's good. I think the next one I'm going to show you has brown sugar in them. So I need to eat those sparingly. This has pork rind salt. Does say sugar, onion powder, tomato powder, chili powder, garlic powder, spice, chipotle pepper powder, yeast ec extract, cit citric acid, lime oil, and natural flavors. That natural flavors always gets me. But it says total sugar zero includes zero added sugar. So why does it have sugar in the ingredients? These are good. All right. Next one. I've never seen this brand before. So I thought I'd give it a try. <laughs> it claims they're artisanal. 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 They're called pork. Obviously. New. 
barbecue and zesty chipotle and here's the breakdown for these again it's all zeros for the most part also says includes zero added sugars it's a lie because it's in the ingredients uh, zero total carbs per serving it says gluten free 40% less sodium than the leading national brands. Let me know if you guys have heard of this brand before. All right. Actually, let me do this one to get some of the seasonings off the bottom, which I'm sure they've all settled on the bottom. Ooh, that is smoky. It smells good. I don't want to get a big one because I have no idea how these are going to taste. Let's get some nice flavorings on there. I don't know why this isn't focusing. All right. That's pretty good. This has fried pork skins, salt, brown sugar, which is the third ingredient, which I think is the third ingredient in this one as well. Yep. So for them to claim there's no added sugars is kind of misleading. Chipotle pepper, onion powder, tarula yeast, don't know what that is, garlic powder, yeast extract, spices, canola oil, natural flavors, natural smoke flavor, and citric acid. So pretty close to the chili lime, but whew, that's got a little bit of a kick to it. Those have a kick. But they're super fluffy soft not real crunchy nice flavor mm, I like these they're good Walmart guys they're called P-O-R-Q my Walmart wow those have a nice little nice little sting to them okay uh, all right that's a product review. Earlier, I had three. I boiled off the last three eggs that I had gotten from Costco. I had three soft boiled eggs. I have two sausages. The hot Italian sausages boiling right now. Wow. That those are <laughs> those leave a nice little sting. And later, I'm going to cut up some bacon. And saute some shrimp with some bacon and maybe put a little bit of Alfredo with it. And that's what I'm going to eat today, guys. All right. Thanks for coming in and joining me today, you guys. I'll leave a picture of what I eat later at the end of this video. Thanks for coming in and joining me. I'm feeling a little bit better today. Not so discouraged because when I went to the grocery store, it, made me, it gave me a little bit of comfort knowing that everything wasn't sold out. I did pick up some eggs, two, 18, so I got like 36 eggs, so I'll be good for a while. And if you're new, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you guys for sticking with me, believing in me, and hoping nothing but the best for me. So, all right, guys, I'll see you later on.